this video, we're going to look at a harder example of factorials. Specifically, you're asked to simplify n plus 1 factorial divided by n minus 1 factorial. And this is the type of problem that might come up if you're taking a calculus course that involves studying sequences and series. In order to perform this simplification, we of course can't use our calculators because we're not working with specific numbers here. If the question was 15 factorial divided by 13 factorial, we could easily do that on a calculator by using our factorial key. But because the question is n plus 1 factorial divided by n minus 1 factorial, and we want to simplify this in general for any value of n, well then, we have to do this without using a calculator. So go ahead and try this out on your own. Remember that a factorial means you're taking the number you've got and multiplying it by all the integers below it until you reach 1. So for example, n plus 1 factorial in the numerator would be n plus 1 times the next number below it, which is n, times the next number below that, which is n minus 1, times the next number below that, which is n minus 2, and so on until you reach 1. If you do this expansion for the numerator and denominator, you should see that lots of terms cancel out. So go ahead, try this out, hit the pause button, and then hit play when you're ready to continue. So hopefully you've tried this out, let's have a look at the solution. We have n plus 1 factorial divided by n minus 1 factorial. Remember in the numerator that n plus 1 factorial is n plus 1 times all the numbers below it. So if we subtract 1 from n plus 1, we get n. If we subtract 1 again, we get n minus 1. If we subtract 1 again, we get n minus 2, and so on. And of course, we don't know what n is, but we keep subtracting 1 until we reach the integer 1. Now, for the denominator, what we've got is n minus 1 factorial, which is n minus 1, times all the numbers below it until you reach 1. So if we subtract 1 from n minus 1, we're going to get n minus 2. If we subtract 1 again, we're going to get n minus 3, and so on, all the way until we reach 1. Now, you'll notice that a lot of the terms in the numerator cancel with those in the denominator. In fact, almost all of them do, and that's because you can think of the numerator n plus 1 factorial as n plus 1 times n times n minus 1 factorial. So all these numbers in the numerator, other than n plus 1 and n, are really just n minus 1 factorial, and that's why it cancels with the denominator. Now, why is that? Well, let's take a numerical example, for instance. Let's say we had 8 factorial divided by 6 factorial. 8 factorial is just 8 times 7 times 6 times all the numbers below it. So once you reach 6 times all the numbers below it, that's just 6 factorial, and that's why it would cancel with the denominator. Now let's apply the same logic here. n plus 1 factorial is n plus 1 times n times n minus 1 times all the numbers below it. Well, n minus 1 times all the numbers below it is just n minus 1 factorial. So the numerator is really n plus 1 times n times n minus 1 factorial. And we've got an n minus 1 factorial in the denominator, so these cancel. And all that's left is the n plus 1 times the n from the numerator. And if you like, you could expand that to be n squared plus n, or just leave it as n plus 1 times n. Either way, we're done.